Right, another very small video. Just a small one. I've come from um, Sanford through some little lanes and woods and fields. And I'm over here at Row Barrow area now. I've just walked up a very muddy, bumpy track, so I didn't do any videoing there. Um, it's just lovely, all these trees, and they're, they're so tall, and they're all the gold and yellows and bits of green. And I'm following an old miner's track here in the stream, sometimes. And uh, this, I've noticed, I've never noticed it before, but it's, it's all this health and safety stuff. Big yellow signs from the Forestry Commission telling us to be aware, because they're working. I haven't seen or heard them, though, but... Uh, it's Friday, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm on a nice walk at the moment. Weather's lovely. Nice and sunny. I thought I'd just do a little bit of this video here. I'm trying to keep the camera steady because I've and not to move too much because I've noticed I keep sweeping too quickly and it makes people's eyes jump. Well it makes mine jump. I've done this little route quite a few times and um, yeah I've done it quite a few times the tall trees are... these are all all these sort of humps and bumps and bits of brick they are all evidence of the communities that lived out here, the mining communities. Robera was a a mining place, <laughs> and uh, this these are all man-made walls here. So if you take yourself back in time, they would have been out here with their cider, onions, and cheese, and a big lump of bread, having a break. The, yeah, the Forestry Commission have been around. That tree's been significantly cut back. I've got some pictures of that tree. So it's, it's really been pruned, that one. Um, I think I've got some really lovely pictures of it somewhere. I don't know if they Yeah, it's the roots, I think, that always amazed me on this one. The massive, thick roots. So maybe they're going to pull it down completely. Oh, that'll be sad, won't it? It looks so lovely in the summer. Another see a stone there, marking stone, a footpath up there. That could be the entrance of someone's home. Could be a grave. The odd mushroom about that. Yeah, like I said, all this round here, mining communities. There wouldn't be much for f in the way of farming exactly around here. I suspect somebody had the odd sheep or two. And of course, all these trees wouldn't have been here either. These are an addition. They're sort of like a repair job to the area, you know. I don't think they would have had all these trees here. There will be, there's lots written about Shipham and Roborough and the mining out here. There's lots written. You can find it if you really want to. You can go on YouTube. You can go on, just go online. So I thought I'd just do a couple of small videos. I have brought backup camera and backup batteries, but they don't always work. Of course, the first time we've seen a car in that farm. There's a farm up there. Hope you don't mind me walking through. I think you're allowed to walk through there. I've always walked through there. There's some water that going down. Great big pipe. Beautiful trees, everyone. And this is where the lovely pink cottage is up here. Look at those trees. I 
And I've been out for about two hours now, just plodding along. Just plodding. Not sure if we can go through here or not. I used to go through here. Look at those trees though. Minute, let's just point the camera that way a minute. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You can hear the stream. Over and out.